I've for a long time wanted to do something with older people because I was very close to my grandmother and um, she was in Zambia, I was here and I always felt like if if she was here I would be around there all the time, I would do anything for her. And I just felt that sometimes older people in the UK are forgotten and they can be quite lonely, their families have moved away. So I got in touch with Age UK and the garden friend sort of seemed to be the perfect fit for me. All my family and friends know about Agatha. She's got such a zest for life, really, like unbelievably so. It's very easy to talk to. That's what I like about her. She's very easy to talk to and uh, she's pleasant. She's uh, nice. Well, I still, I do still have to fill those things and in. And you said, no, 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 write that one hour. You are <laughs> terrible. You feel that? I think what's really made us gel is our African connection, I actually, for me. When you talk about African values, when you have somebody who has that value, they have the respect for the older people. They know the way that you, you actually sense their needs. You know, they don't impose themselves on you. Mm -hmm. They ask you, what can I do for you today? She does it all the time. <laughs> some fantastic memories of growing up in Zambia. You know, those eight years I was raised by my grandmother. Um, we were very close and um, I think just that initial upbringing has, has, has instilled those particular values in me of, of really caring for your grandparent, even to the point where you kind of forget about your own mom and dad because they are, they are the ones. And then I think that the generation after me would do the same for my mum, for example. My grandmother um, sadly passed away last year. Her name was Selita, um, and she was amazing, absolutely amazing. She actually died in this country, um, which was great in a way. It sounds a bit odd, but I, I felt like I had the opportunity to give back what she did to me for my first years of my life. Definitely not having her here where I can see her regularly, I think definitely motivated me to, to um, give, give back to another grandmother who, who doesn't have anybody that can, you know, look out for them and do their gardening because, you know, they can't quite manage it anymore. Oh, that sunshine. Beautiful. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.